Greetings everyone. Welcome to yet another exciting, multi-application tutorial from Animotions. Today we will embark upon an updated exploration, of the newest version of the powerful iClone to Blender Pipeline tool. From Realusion. Prepare and customize your avatar, in Character Creator 3 Pipeline. This tutorial assumes an intermediate, to advanced familiarity with Character Creator Pipeline. Thus we will move forward to the export to Blender. Now, over in Blender. Import your CC3 avatar via the Pipeline add-on, interface. Once imported, select the armature in the Blender Outliner and scroll down to the Rigify section. You have two options for the types of control rig. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will use the Quick Rig option. Without an additional face rig. And with that, your iClone CC3 avatar has now been converted to a professional human IK rig in Blender. With industry standard viewport controllers, for both manual keyframe animation, and motion capture retargeting. Additionally, the character mesh will retain the iClone facial blend shapes, for further import of lip sync and facial animation from iClone. These shape keys can be accessed via the shape key editor. This is done by selecting the avatar's mesh object in the blender outliner. Professional human IK control rigs are the industry standard of character animation. They are used in professional applications such as Autodesk Maya, Motion Builder and Max. Even Real Illusion has exposed more human IK viewport controls in the newly released iClone version 8. With our avatar converted to Rugify, we can now batch import multiple actor core or iMotions for retargeting inside of Blender. Again this tutorial assumes you have familiarized yourself with the process of exporting multiple motions in a single FBX export from CC3 Pipeline. After import of your source motions, you may begin live previewing them before baking them to keyframes. There is no limit to the number of iClone motions one can import and store inside your saved Blender project files as native Blender actions with the exact names of the original actor core or iMotion files from your personal archives.
One of the many notable features of this free pipeline tool, is their ability to adjust the limb to body relationships. During the motion preview to account for the differences in body types of your CC3 avatars. This is very similar to the adjustments one can make in the iClone motion puppet panel. And the adjusted limb parameters will be baked into the animation, of course. Similar adjustments can be made to the stride width. Again just as one can do with the motion puppet tool, in iClone. Additionally, one can adjust the foot angle to account for various footwear such as high heels on female characters. Once you are satisfied with your motion previews, you can bulk the motion to keyframes. The motion will be stored in the action editor. Although we can only bake one motion at a time, you can easily return to preview mode and bake additional motions that will all be stored in the blender action editor. Come on, big guy, get up! Prepare a facial animation and lip sync performance in iClone and Export it to an iMotion Plus file. Import the motion file via the pipeline interface, as previously shown. This iMotion Plus file will contain bone rig motion as well as animated shape keys for the avatar's facial mesh.
open the shape key editor section of the doc sheet, and you will see a list of the avatar's facial shape keys and phonemes. The shape key values are at zero until you apply the shape key animation with the avatar mesh selected. This should be done in the shape key editor. When using both body and facial animation, it is recommended to bake all motions to non-linear action strips. This will allow for more precise alignment of the mesh-based facial animation with rig-based body motion. The intricacies of the Blender non-linear motion clip system are far too complex to adequately cover within the scope of this tutorial. The advantages of the iClone to Blender pipeline are numerous, such as avatar interaction with the unified dynamics system of Blender. High quality viewport render with the EV engine. True 3D particle systems for visual effects. And of course, like the pipeline tool we have explored today, Blender is free software. Thank you for watching. And please consider supporting me on Patreon.